This video is a simple walkthrough of all the steps required to successfully install the Honeybee PH plugin onto your computer. We'll first look at installing Ladybug and Honeybee, and then we'll review how to install the Honeybee PH plugin. So the first step before we can install Honeybee PH is to install Ladybug and Honeybee themselves. So let's first look at how to do that. If we go to Ladybug tools in a web browser, so ladybug.tools, what we'll find are all the links that we need to download the most current version of Ladybug and Honeybee. And that's quite simple. All we need to do is come up here to resources, click on resources, and go to download. We will be pushed over or uh, linked over to this Food for Rhino website. And if we just scroll down here, you'll see that there's a list of several different versions of the Ladybug tools toolkit. In order for Honeybee PH to work on your system, you're going to need to install the most current version, uh, which at the time of this recording is Ladybug Tools 1.5.0. So we'll come up here to this Ladybug Tools 1.5.0, and all we have to do is come over to the download link and just click download. This will go off and download the installer from the Food for Rhino website. And then we can use this installer to set up Ladybug and Honeybee on our system. Again, we have to do this before we install any of the Honeybee PH toolkit. So I'll come up here and just hit the Open File button, and that'll take me here. Uh, and what you'll find if we go in here is that we have this Grasshopper installer file. And so the way that the Honeybee Ladybug team have put this together is that they have this installer file in Grasshopper. And so all I'm going to do is just go ahead and double click on this installer file. And my computer should go off and set up or turn on Rhino. And it should open up a Grasshopper window with that installer active. So you'll see that boot up here in just a second. All right, so I've got my Rhino and Grasshopper window active. Some of the fonts and graphics might look a little odd because I've um, upped the resolution for purposes of this video, uh, but hopefully everything is uh, working correctly on your, your screen and you're able to, to load this up. So there are two steps here that we need to follow in order to install Ladybug Tools and Honeybee successfully into your installation of Rhino and Grasshopper. The first step here is to set up the Python installation that we're going to be using. Um, which will install itself onto your system. And all we need to do to do that is just go ahead and set this to true. So if we set this to true, um, this will go off and execute some uh, uh, download, and it'll set some things up on, on your computer. So this will uh, uh, just take a second to download some things off the internet. And as soon as it's ready, we will see this pop up with a success message here. All right, so that just took a second to download, and you can see here that we get a success message where it says that the Ladybug Tools installation folder was successfully installed. In my case here, C users EM uh, Ladybug Tools. So we now have a new folder on our hard drive with a bunch of important files that Ladybug Tools is going to use. And if we just follow the instructions here, it says next we should run the installer component below. And we could optionally install a couple of additional tools, Open Studio and Radiance, if we wanted to utilize those as part of our, our work workflow here. We don't need to install Open Studio and Radiance for our purposes at the moment. Um, eventually we will if we get into doing things like solar radiation and we want to do Open Studio models. So you could certainly install those, uh, but you do not have to at, at this time. So all what we need to do now is just come down to the second step. And once that Python installation has been installed successfully, we can now set this to true. And this will go off and do the same download and installation sequence. Okay, and as soon as that has downloaded and installed, it might take a few seconds, depending on the speed of your internet, um, because a bunch of the components do need to be downloaded. But as soon as that's done, you'll just get a, a success message here. It should pop up and say, Ladybug Tools 1.5 has been successfully installed. Please restart Rhino to load the new components. So I'll go ahead and click OK. And over here on the right-hand side, you'll see a a detailed list of um, some additional notes here, but we don't need to worry too much about that. It looks like everything installed successfully. And so just as was suggested, we'll go ahead and reboot Rhino at this point. Close out of these Get out of here. Uh, we'll reboot Rhino and see what we have now. So we have now downloaded and installed Ladybug tools from off the internet. So I'm just going to start up a new Rhino file here, and we'll just take a look at what we have and if I go and open up Grasshopper, 
hopefully everything should look good. Um, what you'll see if everything installed correctly is that we now have a bunch of new uh, tabs in our grasshopper file. So we have a honeybee, and we have a ladybug, we have a honeybee radiance, and we should have um, uh, a honeybee energy as well. So we've got all sorts of new components and new tools here um, for our uh, honeybee and ladybug installation. So that's great. We've now successfully installed those. We can now turn our attention to the Honeybee PH plugin itself. So let me come back to my web browser here. And the easiest place, I'll go ahead and close out my Ladybug Tools tabs there. The easiest place to find the installer for the Honeybee PH plugin is just to go here to pacifousetools.com and come down to the Honeybee PH button and just click Honeybee PH and that'll take you through to the Honeybee PH website itself. And there's a couple different places where you can download the installer here, but they're all pretty clearly marked with a big red button that says download. So you should be able to just click on this a download button and we should get a similar grasshopper installer, fi installer file. So very similar to the way that the Ladybug Honeybee team does. We have this installer file here and um, we should be able to click open file. Uh, if we need to, we can go take a look at it here. Um, and this should open up in a new uh, Rhino Grasshopper window for us. So all I need to do is click that Grasshopper installer file and this should load up. You could also optionally save it to your desktop or something and load it up using file open if you wanted to do it that way. E either, either way would work fine. But this should load up inside your Grasshopper window. And so we'll see in a second as soon as this loads um, the instructions for how to install the Honeybee PH plugin onto our system here. All right, so we've got our installer file here, and I did this intentionally. One of the things that you might notice, depending on when you execute this installer and what versions of things that you have, is that this might come up with a warning the first time that you open it. But don't be worried. We'll just go ahead and read the instructions here. Um, and the error is quite straightforward. It says, error, Honeybee PH is not compatible. So the Honeybee PH plugin is not compatible with the version of Honeybee installed on this computer. So we just installed Honeybee and Ladybug off the internet with the newest version, version 1.5.1. But in fact, that's not the most updated version. So what we need to do is, as the instructions say here, please update our Ladybug Tools installation to a compatible version before proceeding. You can use the Ladybug Tools versioner component to update your Honeybee installation and then restart Rhino before we install Honeybee PH. All right, so what does that mean? Well, before we can execute this installer, we need to update our Ladybug and Honeybee installation. And the easiest way to do that is come up here to Ladybug, and the Ladybug team have given us this nice little versioner, oh, well, excuse me, this one here, the versioner component. And all I need to do is grab this versioner component, drop it onto the canvas, I'm gonna click button, and just tell it to update. And as soon as it's done updating, it's going to go off and download the most current version of Ladybug Tools and Honeybee, and it's going to update the installation here on my system. So by downloading from, from Food for Rhino, we actually got an older version of the Ladybug Honeybee install. And so we need to run this versioner before we install our Honeybee PH. Uh, plugin. Now, if it's a few years in the future, you might not have to do this, um, but if you do get some sort of a version or compatibility warning when you open up the installer for Honeybee PH, just all you have to do is go ahead and run this versioner, and this will update everything on your system to the most current compatible version. And as soon as that's done, you'll get a success message here that tells us uh, that the Honeybee Ladybug has been installed or updated to the latest uh, version. And we need to restart Rhino to load these new components um, in, order to, um, in order to have it work. So I'll just go ahead and click OK. And we will close out of all of this. We'll close out our Rhino here. Go ahead and close everything. Don't save anything. Close everything. OK. So now we've successfully installed everything. So I should be able to now double click the installer. So this is the Honeybee PH installer that we downloaded off the internet. And let's try and open that up again. And let's see this time if we get the same warning or not. So this is going to uh, start up Grasshopper same way as it did before. And we'll um, take a look at this once it opens up. 
All right, so we've got our file opened up now, and let's take a look. And if we look down here now, we're not getting any warning. Our component is not glowing red, and over here we don't get any warnings in the notes. So that's great. So this means everything is working. You can see here that we have a Rhino version and a Honeybee Core version, which are compatible with the Honeybee PH uh, plugin. So a couple things here. Um, so we have this installer file, and it's really quite straightforward. All you need to do is, is set this to true, and this component will go off and download a bunch of things from the internet and update your installation here. Um, just so you're aware of what's going to happen, the component here is going to download and add a new Honeybee PH plugin um, uh, set of Python modules and packages to your Ladybug Tools Python installation. Um, it will download and install a new Passive House Exchange plugin, uh, which is also used by Ladybug Tools. And additionally, it's going to download and install a certain uh, package, which goes by the name Excel Wings, which is the package which is used to write information or data to um, Microsoft Excel. So that's an additional dependency which is going to be installed as part of this uh, uh, package here. Um, there will also be a set of new Grasshopper components and Grasshopper tools which are going to be installed into your Grasshopper environment. And so all of that will become available once you, um, once you install or click this, uh, this button right here. Um, a couple of other just brief notes here. Um, this component, this uh, installer component, by default will install the most recent, the most current version of all of the different packages that I just uh, described there, the Honeybee PH, the Passive House Exchange, etc. Um, if you want to install a certain version, a particular version, because of legacy issues, compatibility issues, what have you, you can, if you uh, choose, uh, supply a certain, a particular version number down here to the Honeybee PH and the Passive House Exchange package. So you can uh, optionally install or, or, or pass in some arguments here to have it install a particular version if you want. If you leave these blank, um, these inputs blank here, it'll just by default uh, uh, install the most current version of all of the packages. So just be aware of that before you um, execute this. But for most of us, all we have to do is just come over here and turn this to true. This will go off and download everything off the internet that we need and install everything into your system. So let me just go ahead and set that to true. And as soon as this is done downloading, we'll see what happens. And if we just wait a few seconds, again, depending on your internet speed, it should not take long. We download the package, the package gets installed, and we, if everything works properly, we should get a, a window here that tells us that Honeybee PH has been successfully installed. And we should restart Rhino in order to make the components available uh, before we start working. So I'll hit OK. Now a couple of things. You may get some warnings here or some information. Um, we'll just talk about those quickly here. Just don't be alarmed. Um, the most common warning that you're going to get is something about you should um, consider upgrading um, PIP. Uh, don't worry about that. That just has to do with some sort of behind the scenes stuff. You don't need to worry about that at all. Um, uh, that is all fine. If we come over here and look at the details, we'll see a couple of things. We installed Honeybee PH Python libraries. Um, uh, down here, we installed the Passive House Exchange libraries. And if we scroll down a little bit, we'll see um, the Honeybee PH Grasshopper components were successfully installed as well. So it looks like everything was installed properly. Um, and we don't see any, any real warnings here. And then the last note here, just restart Rhino to load the new components in the library. Again, don't worry if you do get some warnings here, in particular this warning about upgrading your pip version. That just has to do with installing Python packages, so don't worry about that. So I'll go ahead and close all of this and close that. We don't need to save that. We don't need to worry about that. At this point, we can throw out all of these files that we've downloaded, so we don't need any of those installer files anymore. So now I should be able to just come in here and open up a new instance of Rhino. And we will spool that up, and then I'll just make a simple new file, and then I'll turn on Grasshopper and see what we have installed. So once Rhino's booted up, I'll click Grasshopper here, and this will load up in just a second. It, hopefully, if everything has installed correctly, we should have all sorts of new tools available to us here in our Grasshopper environment. In particular, as we already looked at, we've got some new Honeybee tools. We've got some ladybug tools, we've got some honeybee energy tools, and then if the honeybee ph uh, plugin installed correctly, over here we should have a new uh, toolbar which goes by the honeybee p 
PH name, and you should see all sorts of new components here related to passive house modeling, which are used with or in conjunction with our Honeybee tools. Now we're not going to go into the details of how to use the Honeybee PH uh, toolkit in this video. This is just about the installation, um, but we can just verify that our installation worked properly by making a super quick Honeybee model. So if I just come in here to Honeybee and I'll come over and grab this Honeybee by um, solid and drop that onto the canvas here. And we'll drop that right into the canvas. Now th that might take a second or two the first time that you run it for the PYC files to com to compile, but um, the next time you run it, it should be uh, quite quite fast. But the first time you run it, it might be a little bit slow. But let's um, uh, we need uh, as this thing says here, we need to give it some geometry for this to work properly. So let's just real quick give it a super simple um, mass, and I'll just make a very very uh, simple little box here just to give it some geometry and something to model just to make sure that our installation is working and if everything's working properly we should see uh, as we see here everything should be flowing through we should get a room out the side we shouldn't get any errors or red warnings or anything like that so it looks like honeybee itself is working properly and then we can verify that our honeybee ph is working properly by just grabbing uh, pretty much any component but let's do this let's grab this honeybee building segment and we'll drop that onto the canvas as well and see uh, and make sure that that's all working uh, additionally so again, that might take just a second to um, compile the very first time that you uh, run the component, but the next time it should be quite uh, quick. And, and we'll just um, take our rooms and plug our rooms into our rooms, and we're, we don't see any warnings, nothing is coming up red, and it looks like the room is flowing through. So it looks like everything here has installed properly. Our Honeybee and Ladybug have been installed and updated to the latest version. We've installed our Honeybee PH plugin, and it looks like everything here is working properly. So at this point, you should be able to uh, go off and use the Honeybee PH plugin to execute your passive house modeling. Now, just briefly, a few notes about the installation in, um, uh, so we looked very quickly at the Honeybee PH website. The Honeybee PH website has this uh, download button here right on the front page, but there is also an entire page dedicated to installation. Uh, so installation questions here in terms of requirements, in terms of um, Grasshopper, here's another link for the download file, and then a few sort of helpful hints if you are running into any trouble with the installation. One very brief note um, for those of you who are running Ladybug Tools Pollination, your version of Ladybug Tools will likely be installed in a different place on your computer and it is very likely that you'll have to run Rhino as administrator in order to give yourself the permissions you needed in order to install additional packages like Honeybee PH. So just note that if you are using pollination, and if you are, you would know it. If, you're, if you don't know what that means, don't worry about it. You're probably not using pollination. But if you are using pollination, then Ladybug Tools is likely installed in a different place on your computer. You'll need additional privileges in order to install plugins to it. So in, on, and to do that, all you need to do is make sure that you run Rhino as administrator when you go to install Honeybee PH. Now, if you run into other challenges, uh, we have a there's a contact page over here if you need additional help or you are running into any problems with anything here there's all sorts of um, resources for where and how to find help depending on what the particular issues that you're running into are um, and I would just uh, quickly note that there is a section here on how to format your help requests so that we can uh, more quickly respond um, uh, if you do run into any trouble. But certainly feel free to reach out at any time if you do run into any issues or challenges, uh, trouble when uh, working through the installation of Honeybee PH. So I hope you found that useful. I hope everything's working for you. And I look forward to seeing you back in future videos where we'll dive into the actual usage of the Honeybee PH tools.